Hey, what is up, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you something a little bit different. So when I first was first starting out on YouTube, I didn't know what to use to record all my software on Mac. So I was yeah, confused. So today I'm going to be showing you what I use to record and how it looks. Okay, so first off, to get a good recording software, I'm, you're going to have to pay unless you want to go to Pirate Bay, which is legal. I actually do everything legit. Pirate Bay, I don't do. So what you want to do is, if you have a Mac, we all have the Apple Store. So you just want to open that up. And this is for Mac, of course. I mean, if you were on um, something else, like let's say Windows, you would obviously just have Fraps or something. Um, I wouldn't be too sure, but I would use Fraps. So let's just go to... um. Just so on the top left, over here, search engine, whatever, just type in screen record pro, screen record, and, uh, just give it a second, a bunch of stuff starts popping, popping up. Now, I did almost all of the trials, and I read almost all the reviews for all of them. And there's Kinetic Tool. And let's see if I can find ScreenFlow. Whatever. ScreenFlow. So I found the best, cheapest one was Screen Record Pro. And it has 65 rings. It's a four star. Now let me just get something straight. Camnesia is, I will base it on four star. Now there's a. A light version and there's a full version so see pro white okay and then there's pro it costs five dollars roughly five dollars somewhere around there if you live in New York and yeah so now I'm gonna be showing you what it looks like so this is the general thing now as you can see there's a little menu over here which is actually really helpful now you can you can set a logo and you could drag it wherever you want like let's say you want it to be a little bit bigger like that and you want the height to be bigger like that you could do that and then just click and like let's say you don't want it to be completely see like vivid you can do 50 and it'll still be there and you can see a little bit through it so you can see the little stars unlike if I do 100 you won't be able to see the stars 50 you can see the stars a little bit so I'm just gonna okay but you could also set text so let's say my YouTube name is super 5 space mode Okay, now let's say I want to be something bold. Okay, and let's see, drag it around. I'm pretty sure you could change a color. Yep, see, choose a color, super fine mode. Like that. And same thing, width, height, done. Just, well, drag it around, and there. Now, you could do both these. But you can't do both of them at the same time. That's something. Like, I wouldn't have my Superman sign, Super Fine Mode underneath it, but I don't know. Choosing not to. Now, oh, stop. Thank you. Now, there's full screen and custom recording. So basically, like, let's minimize that. Let's say you want to. I want to record all my files over here. Private game, Skype, game sent to Google Chrome. I want to do a review on Google Chrome. This. And let's say I want to do a review on only the icon. And I don't want them to see anything else. I would just do this, like this. I'll be like, oh, it's green and yellow and red. And let's say I want it to be a little bit smaller. I could adjust it like this. So that only they could see the little orb. 
and it's going to be like that. Let's say I want them to see it like this. They'll see only this area inside the box. Outside the box, like over here and over here and over here even. They will not see my hotbar. Whatever I have open, they will not see. Whatever I use, they will not see. And over here, they will not see. So let's say that you don't want to do that. You just want to record full screen. You just go to the full screen settings and it will record your entire screen, your hotbar, your everything up here. And yeah. So just clean up. Okay. Now, once you choose full screen, width height is already chosen for you. And what I mean, and same thing over here, it's gonna be chosen for you. And you see, watch the width, the width, the height is going up as I'm making it taller, and as I'm making it wider, the width is going up. So you don't have to worry about width and height. Now, record quality. Let's say you're recording some Minecraft videos, right? Okay, so when you open up your Minecraft and open this, only have one regret. And yeah, so when you start recording your Minecraft, blah 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 blah, it actually gets annoying because when you actually do it, um, I noticed in my first couple of videos, it completely lags your video. I was not lagging any of those videos, but it was making it lag, and it was just a pain. It was complete pain. So I just I didn't even know about record quality. And I put it on high. Now the only thing is the problem. I'm pretty sure if I go over 15 minutes, if I record over 15 minutes on high quality while I'm recording audio and computer audio, it will just it won't work. It will turn it into a huge file, and you'll have to decrypt it or um, convert it, and it'll just be a pain in the ass. And you don't want the hassle. So if you're doing, if you're gonna record in high quality. You have to get an iPhone, turn on the timer, and um, set the timer to 15 minutes. Because if you record over 15 minutes, it's going to turn into a file, and you're going to have to decrypt it, and it's going to be a pain. Now, audio is built-in microphone. You could use whatever you want. I use built-in microphone. Now, computer audio, you can click it. It records like your Minecraft sounds, and if you're on Skype... It'll record your friends talking and if let's say you don't select that you can record over 15 minutes because I don't know it's something with a sound audio and yeah now record cursor it will follow around your mice mouse it will follow the area where I click and it'll just follow the mouse around show and finder that means when it's finally um, edited, yes, this thing edits by itself. It does not come with the editing program, but it renders it. So what show in Finder when it's finished, as all you may know, Finder is where you can find all your stuff. See this on my screen recordings. And, um, yeah, so when it's done in the Finder, it'll just pop up like one of these. It'll open up your Finder and show you where it is. Like, let's say this one, it'll be highlighted like that. Okay? Just getting sound. And if you select open the record file when finished, it will open up like that and it'll just show you basically um it'll show you it'll be like um it'll be like QuickTime player. It'll just be like an entire movie screen and you could watch it. You could click play and watch it. I usually do this so then I can easily just click on it, drag it into my upload folder, and I will know that I'll have to upload this because I have not uploaded it yet. So my only problem with this is if you're recording computer audio and your voice, you can't record over 15 minutes. And yeah, that's my only problem. Other than that, it's a great recording software. I know when I first started on YouTube, I didn't know what to use because fraps wouldn't work. And I didn't feel like paying $90, $150. So this is cheap. It's roughly around $5. And it's actually really handy. I record all my videos with Screen Record Pro. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, or I should say a um a um wow, 
brain fart. A review, and I'll show you what the icon looks like. It's that icon. It's a film with the record sign right on it. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Please leave a like, favorite, and subscribe. And my name is Super Fire Lord.